on a faraway world, neath two bright purple moons, a mighty stone citadel on a sea of sand dunes prepared for invasion, as citadels do by shutting the door and locking it too. Across green sandy desert, the army had come to conquer the fortress, which no one had done for near 3,000 years since the last epic war, when soldiers snuck in through the unlocked back door. After building this castle, it has to be noted, the stonemasons sat back quite smugly and gloated, we built an impenetrable structure, they claimed. Two days later, these masons were butchered and maimed. Yet let us not dwell on the dark lines above, as our story is one of heroics and love. The invaders were axe-wielding alien brutes, but no match for our heroes in thick leather boots. You see, sand on this planet was toxic to touch. Not a problem for people in boots far too much, but for alien hordes who march round in bare feet, this planet would smell much like barbecued meat. As the evil invaders started to crash at the walls of the castle, our heroine, Tash, called out to her squire for her sword as she mounted her five-legged steed. No, I haven't miscounted. With her blade in one hand and her shield in the other, she bid sad farewell to her father and mother. She then rallied her troops to the cause with the cry, Today we must fight, or we'll all surely die. I promise you this, she infused to her men. This castle will never be taken again. As long as I live, our just cause will prevail. As sure as my steed has five legs and two tails. At once, the great doors to the stone fortress parted. The citadel's valiant infantry darted out onto the desert to battle their foes, who by this time were missing almost all of their toes. All through the day, the fierce battle raged on till the aliens melted. The battle was won. Tash gathered her men and marched home across the dunes, neath the dusky, cool glow of the twin purple moons. <laughs> <laughs>